Greetings. Oh, hello there. My name is Nightshade of the band Blood of the Beloved. This is Skeptic of Blood of the Beloved, and you're watching a local the band Smokeout. We'll check on my end, and I am all set for you. I think I am. Ladies and gentlemen, Skeptic and Nightshade, Blood of the yeah, Beloved! Hell yeah. <laughs> Bellas, how are we doing today? Thank you so much for joining. Have a good Thank one. you for having us. Dude, this yeah. is awesome. This is awesome. Uh, I, I want to first start with, uh, if you guys could introduce yourself, let me know whereabouts in the world you are, because I know you're in different places, and please plug and promote anything you like. After you, sir. Oh, no, you. <laughs> All right, well, I am I am skeptic. I am one half of the, uh, you know, dynamic demonic duo, Blood of the Beloved. I am in the neighborhood of Salt Lake City, Utah, presently. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's my habit, I guess. <laughs> and I am, uh, Nightshade, the other half of Blood of the Beloved. I am living right outside of Cincinnati and, uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> where, where is the easiest place or, or is all the social media links similar, like at Blood of the Beloved or something or just that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I will say we are a little bit more active on Facebook than Instagram presently, but uh, but yeah, reaching so, out anywhere, you'll get a hold of us. Being that you guys are in, in different states, how, how did this link up collab group come about to start? Well, <laughs> in the dark times. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> Previously, we actually both grew up in the uh, neighborhood of St. Louis, Missouri, uh, and we're both kind of in the you know the hip hop scene. Uh, Nightshade was in the like the horror core scene. It actually got a pretty booming one out there, but uh, yeah, we had kind of you know sort of casually interacted at a couple shows. But uh, after I started doing metal, um, one of my friends was like, "Hey, you should hook up with." Uh, Nightshade, because he's been a metalhead, you know, <laughs> since forever. So I hit him up for some uh, collaborations on a solo project I was doing. And then when the, uh, you know, right around the time of the pandemic, uh, he was like, hey, we're both going to be <laughs> in a, in a position to be time. working on music. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> would, that, would that mutual friend possibly be Pat, a.k.a. Seath? No, actually, uh, didn't uh, didn't come into contact with Seath until after the uh, the group had kind of become a thing already. Okay, because I, I I used to talk to Pat all the time, and I know he's brought you guys up a bunch. He's a big fan, so that's cool. Uh, he's a great guy. Yeah, he's the best, Very talented yeah. individual. Yeah. Knight, how many how many uh, ghost face masks you got behind you? <laughs> um. So that is just like four or five. I've got like a bunch of different ones because there's a lot of subtle differences in each ghost face mask and each of the screen movies, and I'm trying to collect all of them. Do you get the Gotta autographs too? All. Like when you go, when you go to like, do you go to like horror cons and stuff and get uh, the autographs of of the actors and actresses, or just to collect? I, I, I won't do that to those. These are harder to find than uh, that, but uh, and I don't want them ruining my mask. I the materials are sacred. Who but who yeah, made I, I, who made the the mask that you guys wear? I did. Dude, those are bad. Do you sell those normally? Like your own? Do you make masks as a hobby, or is this was just uh, just for this well, project? Um, I, I'm a mask maker by you know just for shits and gigs on the side. It's one of my passions. I'm also a huge mask collector. I actually have a YouTube channel dedicated to collecting masks and uh sculpting and doing all that fun stuff so whenever we started this project i was like you know why not combine two of my passions which is music and masks and uh shouted out the skeptic it was all like what do you think and he was like i'm down so uh, i sculpted the mask and then um my molds broke my molds got broken because uh, they were sitting in my backyard and then one day they were all just shattered so these masks any like, we did a giveaway with our friend Batty Bat, 
on some masks. And the ones that are out there are the only ones that are out there because, uh, yeah, you can't get them anymore. <laughs> How did you guys um, come up with the with the band name? And do you recall a couple of choices that didn't become the band name that maybe later on you were like, ah, oh, that would have been terrible if we had picked that name instead? <laughs> it, was a, uh, it was a book that I had seen on like Amazon. It's called Blood and the Beloved. And uh, I was like, well, we, like, make it blood of the beloved. And we started, me and Skeptic just started texting back and forth. What if we have this cult kind of thing and then do some satanic kind of stuff and then just Christian bash- bashing stuff. And then it just kind of flushed <laughs> itself out there. And I think Blood of the Beloved is the only title that we had for the band. It okay. is, yeah. We didn't even toss any others around. You just knew right that's away, except that, that yeah, when, yeah. when he pitched that, you were like, that's the one. I was like, yep, that's, yeah. that's where it's at. Well, one of those things where it was like, yeah. abracadabra. Like, <laughs> all right, yeah. how, did, how did you guys meet Caleb from Salunar? Oh, that was through, um, yeah, that was through like a, a collective that uh, him and uh, Dead Dreams, uh, another guy that we worked with a bunch, were, were kind of part of, because um, Caleb was with like First Angel Media and... Um, it was an acronym that the names escaped me at the moment, but um, they were all kind of part of that. And uh, we had started doing this sort of independent musician uh, podcast kind of thing where we'd like come on and talk about whatever the fuck, basically. And uh, Caleb was a regular on that. And then uh, I think that that collective sort of disbanded and Caleb was like, hey, you know, we're trying to still all keep in touch. So. You know, he was starting up a record label and all that good stuff, which we are now uh, we are now a part of as well. And I imagine I don't think I asked Caleb this when I talked to him, but I imagine you guys are involved in the overnight soundtrack. We uh, we are on. Uh, I believe we're on side B of the overnight soundtrack in a song that Caleb put together. Actually, it's called "I Want I Want All My Garmin Bosia." <laughs> And it's it's actually on like Spotify and Apple right now, but that's uh that's the one that's gonna be on the soundtrack that we are. What is what does that mean? Involved. What is Garmin Bosia? What does that mean? I believe that's a David Lynch reference. Um, and it's basically like uh I'm gonna say it was like a kind of bean or some sort of like it was, you know, one of those foods that like basically everybody, you know, was was eaten up and it was, you know, like the the idea behind it is kind of it's all the like trivial bullshit you know like uh that you you take and like get angry about and all that sort of stuff it was kind of uh you know it's a song about uh you know sort of like the idea that you get into an argument because you just want to win an argument rather than because you have something interesting to say (laughs) okay (laughs) because because you guys are located in different places does does that how complicate how complicated is it to to gather for shows or to do like a small run or something like that well we haven't done a show yet um and that's you know like we both have like day jobs and and other things so like especially during the pandemic when i was like i was like super gung-ho like i want to play a show nobody's letting us play shows so (laughs) and uh yeah but, uh, yeah, we've been in talks to do some other stuff. And, uh, and me and Skeptic also have, like, severe ADHD, so we forget a lot of the things that we start talking about. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it is true, yes. How, Knight, how many, how many masks do you think you have in total? Uh, 265 last I counted. 255? What? 65. If, 65, excuse me. Do you do yeah. you have one that you could grab real quick that is like your holy grail? This is the most special one. Can we see that one? Uh, I've got a lot of really good ones. Um, <laughs> is there one that's like, like more special to you, no, though, like... than, than any of the other ones? Um... I just feel like he's in like the biggest room <laughs> ever, and there's there's mass like <laughs> it's everywhere. Just lined with faces. <laughs> while um, he while he's so, 
So this one's pretty special. This is a life cast of my buddy AJ Good from over at the House of Masks. He's a, a really big YouTuber. Um, these weren't for sale to the general population, but I was able to get a copy of his mask and then replicate the mask that he wears. Uh, nobody else has got one. I'm the only one that has this mask outside of AJ. So that's a pretty special mask. I mean, I was trying to find the one that was on the cover of my like debut solo record, but I don't know where that was to put sick. that. Do you call that yeah. one the wretch, or is it, was there a? Uh, I call it. I call that one the wretch. The actual name yeah. for it was uh, uh, the Red Angel, but it's like it's not red. It's not angelic, so I don't like the name of that. So <laughs> I can... makes sense. The, yeah. It's confusing because it's, it's white. I get it. Hell yeah. Did did Lizzie explain to you guys the trivia portion of the show that I like to do? A little bit, yeah. yeah. So, so hopefully you brought some, some hot sauce. I can grab some real quick. I can grab my hot sauce yeah. real quick. Cool. Cool. Grab some, before you yeah. do, though, before you do, if, if is there is there a movie or TV show that you guys could pick? If you, could, you could agree on one or the other, this movie or this TV show, where if I look up trivia on it, you will not get stumped. Whether you get the question <laughs> right or wrong, I'll still do hot sauce. <laughs> But the goal is to, to stump you and then ask you questions while your mouth's on fire. Fair enough. I mean, I, I will I will bomb this no matter what you pick just because the second you ask a question, my mind forgets that it knows words. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So, so Knight, whatever, whatever your pleasure is, man. Um, <laughs> anything from the Halloween franchise, I'm pretty... Uh, pretty expert on knowledge wise um i can even go rob zombie halloween or or keep it a og fuck rob zombie halloween <laughs> og we'll go og <laughs> all right i yeah, need a no, second no. to uh, to look up some trivia but uh Really quick, what what can we expect from you guys the rest of the year? I know that sometimes we're not allowed to tell stuff that's, you know, it's all pre-planned when we announce things, but what are you allowed to tell us that we can look forward to? So, uh, I mean, yeah, we've, we've got an EP in the works um, that I believe we're going to be dropping on Solunar Records as well, and that. Tentatively, we're looking at October to uh, to release that. So, yeah, um, got a bunch of uh, singles that I need to record, but the voice <laughs> has just not been cooperating with me. Like the humidity lately has been messing with my voice, so I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you a speedy recovery. Go grab uh, the hot sauce if you need to grab it in the background real quick. Um, is there a specific song you want me to go with, or should I just go with a uh, butterfly exhibit? Um, whatever's clever. Well, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter to me. Let's yeah. do, let's do the, the latest I, single. I, I think, like them all. I feel like I we like should do the all. newest one. Right. Go grab the hot sauce. I, I got the trivia ready, control. but uh, of course, since you're our guest today, we're gonna automatically throw you on the poll. Blood of the Beloved. If you're watching and you're feeling it, please support them. Hit the follow button over on Spotify. I'm gonna grab some hot sauce. Yeah, me too. I watch and wait for you and I can see that there's something strange about When they come back, I'll switch the camera back over. It looks like Skeptic's got a dog asleep behind where he was sitting. I couldn't see originally. Something missing deep inside 
So tonight, while we're waiting for 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 Skep to roll back in, how did you guys come up with uh, your your initial names, Nightshade and Skeptic? Um, Skeptic was his name already. Like I've only known him as Skeptic. I still don't even real really know his real name. Like people say his real name, and I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? And they're like <laughs> Skeptic. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I know Skeptic. I don't I don't know anybody else. Um, as far as Nightshade, it, it used to just be Night N Y T E, which was an acronym for not your typical evil. But then we started playing shows in St. Louis. There's a guy named Dan, and his was N Y C E, which is not your common evil. So <laughs> I, I remember I, that dude. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. like, I had to change my name because not your typical evil uh, kind of sounds too similar. So I added a mare. And it was just nightmare, and uh, that's how I came up with that. And then you can't trademark that because everybody else has already got the trademark, but there wasn't one for nightshade. So then I went and trademarked that, and now I'm nightshade. Oh yeah. Oh shoot! I, I didn't know you went with the uh, official trademark and all that, man. That's legit. Yeah, yeah. I, I went with skeptic, and now I'm one of like ten skeptics that are on Spotify. So why? Well, yeah, so that's I, what we were. I was asking him, like, how did you? How did you land on skeptic? Like, what does that mean to you? Yeah, so I mean, it's kind of like my approach to <laughs> to life, you know. Uh, just sort of always been a very uh, questioning person, and uh, you know, it's kind of always held a an innate sense of skepticism about, you know, primarily philosophies <laughs> of, of various types. Um, initially, it was uh, Initially, it was anthroskepsis, which um, was like, you know, the acronym for man and the, you know. Makes sense. The, no, no, no. The pre prefix for man and then the uh, whatever the hell for skepticism. So, you know, skepticism of mankind. But uh, it, it's a stupid name. Um, and you have to explain it to everybody that you tell it to and you have to spell it because, you know, it's, it's just one of those things. So, yeah, I went with skeptic. No, you have to tell people as you spell it with a K. Yeah, skeptic, and skeptic's a little it's smoother. Not, it's not skeptic or skeptic or skeptic or skeptic. It's the skeptic here that, you know, it's, it's not all the other ones on Spotify. I get the it. One in the green uh, let's hold, let's <laughs> the one hold in up the green our hot sauces. I got some blueberry hell right here. It's made with real blueberries, but it's it's got a little Ooh. zing and spice to it. Oh, man, I wish I, I had a I had a Blackberry one that was phenomenal. It was like Blackberry uh, Habanero or something like that. Yeah, I have to try that one. But yeah. you guys got to pick any any movie. You chose the the Halloween franchise, not the Rob Zombie ones. So I have selected <laughs> Halloween <laughs> Resurrection. Oh, fuck. Halloween <laughs> Resurrection. <laughs> trivia starts now. That's, that's not very OG. It's like the fourth or fifth one, maybe. But anyway, I'll start. I start. I start with an easy. I'll start with an easy question. From the first Halloween to the time Michael actually kills Lori, how many years go by? Twenty. Twenty-three. That is not correct, but you are so close. It was 24. 24. Because it came out in 2002. The original movie was 1978, which means 24 years have gone by. Enjoy the hot sauce. I'm going to so do it with you regardless. Is that is that 24 actual years, or is that 24 years in the universe of Halloween? I yeah, am yeah, not I'm sure. I'm gonna start asking specifics. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I won't I'm do I won't do Halloween Resurrection for the second one, but uh, starting on cheers the to the hot I got, sauce. I got some Valentina here, which is always delicious. This stuff is called Dark Side. It's really good. It sounds like it could be could be spicy. Dark Dark Side Dark Slide. Yeah, it's, uh, Chip it's Chipotle. Uh, Ooh. Hot sauce. Really good. Okay. As, as a, a band that has a very evil, scary persona, is there anything that scares you guys? Phobias, heights, snakes, anything like that? I have thalassophobia, which is fear of, like, open water. 
and uh, it's pretty severe. So, like, no deep sea fishing or anything like that. Fuck no. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, I I don't do heights very well. Uh, (laughs) Yeah, um, that's that's probably the main one. But how how does a, a a beloved song start? Like, do do you guys find the beats? Do you create the beats from from scratch and then send it back and forth and just kind of like I think I'm gonna do this here, do that there. Like, walk me through how a song starts. Uh, For sure. Skeptic, yeah. Yeah. Skeptic, like, <laughs> I got this fucking jam, right? And, uh, and I'm like, hey, dude. And, like, while I'm working on another song, and then he's all like, hey, dude, I got like four more instrumentals I'm going to show you. Check this shit out. And then I'm like, it's all like, right. It's the ADD, <laughs> man. Yeah. And then every once in a while, I'm all like, hey, man, I wrote this thing. Do you like that? And they're like, fuck yeah, dude. So I'm like, yeah. So, Skip, is that you, like, midiing everything, or do you actually, like, play a lot of different instruments? Um, so the the main live instrument I've got is guitar. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I play keyboard and stuff, but most of, like, what you hear on the on the albums is, um, you know, it's programmed synths and stuff like that. Like, you, you create the, the melody and all that sort of stuff, but you got to, you know, kind of put it into a like a digital version of one of those little beat maker things and you know make sure it hits on time and all that but what what yeah, do, use, what do you use uh fruity loops <laughs> yeah fruity loops it's it's my jam i've tried i've tried messing around with other ones and i just i can't do it i'm i'm too into fruity loops yeah fruity loops was probably the first one that i like really <laughs> mastered and and i feel like it got some 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 hate back in the day but it, it's it's kind of keep kept alive and kept up with all the other things and with all the updates and stuff it can pretty much compete with the, all the other ones i would say yeah logic and yeah. tools and all that um let's try this one more time so the original og halloween which we've all seen like 20 times i watched it yesterday all right well let's see if you were paying attention when you watched it yesterday because at one point in the movie Lori's walking home from school and she realizes she forgot a book. What book did she forget at school? That's the only time in the whole movie she even mentions this. Yeah. uh, Is it philosophy? It is not correct. It is is chemistry. chemistry. She forgot her chemistry book. So we have to do more hot sauce, gentlemen. This time I'm going. I'm going mule sauce. Uh, so, so while we're doing this, talk to me about about 2024. I know you said the EP is coming out sometime around around October. I'm guessing maybe closer to the Halloween s time. But beyond that, what's what's 2024 looking like? Even if this stuff's like not official in the books, just uh, what can we look forward to in the future? Wrong <coughs> tube. Um, <coughs> Not bad. That's some cilantro jalapeno. That was pretty nice. I usually don't even like cilantro. I don't think I've had that one for either. Cilantro jalapeno? Hell yeah. Yeah. Cilantro everything. <laughs> I put that shit <laughs> on everything. Cilantro on lime? Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> 2024 though um new mask i've got just off camera here i've got two lumps of clay with our name on it um that's for sure uh and then more experimentation with music essentially right yeah we kind of like fly you know fly by the uh, seat of our pants and when it comes to music we like you know, we work on stuff sporadically, and then we're like, "Hey, should we put out a single?" And then a single happens. Yeah, and- we'll, we'll like not talk to each other for like two months ish because we right. got life going on, and then we talk we every day other, after that. And then it's like, it's right. like I got fucking fifteen tracks ready to go. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've been we've been working a long time on a uh, a collab album that's like, you know, going to be a full length where every song's got a different artist featured on it. We've got a whole lot done for that, but we're you know, trying to just round it out with a couple that are, uh, 
you know. I oddly know exactly what you're talking about and how much time it takes to do something like that. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it is a lot Indeed. of work. Indeed it is. Hell yeah. Uh, do you guys play video games? I, I, have, little bit. I have a Nintendo 64. What's the best Nintendo 64 game ever? I mean, it's got to be Super Smash Brothers. Uh, yeah, apart from that, the only games I still regularly play are like Mario Kart and then the Legend of Zelda games. Yeah. I remember putting it's, it's... a ton of time into Blast Core. <laughs> I don't think I've even heard of that one. Yeah, Blast I, Core uh, 64 is when you, like, the one where you have to, like, destroy buildings. Just the whole mission was destroy oh, the buildings okay, okay. with the uh, whatever vehicle they give you. Um, right. But, uh, hell yeah. Well, uh, fellas, we're almost out of time, but if there's anything that you'd like us to know or, or again, plug and promote, the floor is yours. And uh, I really appreciate you taking some time. I apologize about bailing. I, I'm one guy. I'm a guy that, like, never calls in sick. But it would have been a disaster if you had been on the show that day. So this is a lot more fun, I promise. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Yeah, I appreciate being on here. But, yeah, I mean, you know, look us up on, on all the socials that you got. Um, except I don't think we have a Twitter. Do we have a Twitter? Uh, I don't think we got X. one of those, right? X. It's what? X now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we don't have one of those because uh, <laughs> I didn't even know that that was a thing that happened. But uh, yeah, Blood of the Beloved, um, you know, like the, uh, I, I think we might be the first to say this, but big things coming soon, you know? Yeah, we do have like, <laughs> I've, got, I've got some amb like ambitious plans in the future. It's just uh, it's all a matter of time and money. <laughs> Yeah, right. I mean, like, we've got plans to do, like, music videos and, you know, like, visual stuff to, you know, to get working with. But it's it's a matter of the uh, the funds and the time, you know. <laughs> I feel like I feel like if you guys do do link up in person and, and get to hang out, you should knock out, like, three or four videos over, like, a whole weekend. Just, oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Also, uh, uh, x.com slash blood of the beloved does not exist. So yeah, I, I figured jump I figured on it, we jump got, on it, we jump on it. On Hell yeah. yeah. Well, Nightshade skeptic. Thank you gentlemen so much. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for being for troopers and, uh, uh, doing some trivia and, and doing the hot sauce with me. That's very cool. Um, and we look forward to the EP around Halloween time and hopefully that the collab full length coming out next year, but, uh, gentlemen, keep doing your thing. And, uh, I, I hope you're able to pull off some shows here in the future, but this is fun, sure. man. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us. Ladies and gentlemen, Blood of the Beloved! Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hi, what's up, sir? Welcome to the local band smokeout.